Hello, 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 all my machine heads, and a welcome back to Combston Farm on this rainy, cold, damp September 1st afternoon. Remember last episode, we left off, we bailed, 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 and at 11 o'clock sharp, it started raining. The skies went and started raining. So how's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic, everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. For me, it is 11.29 p.m. on a Wednesday. Big storms happening outside. Hey, cool. I've never seen a map with a rainbow in it. How absolutely cool is that? Well, anyways, uh, I got us some odds. I got to get, get you guys to check out. Sweet. So let's get the trivia out of the way. Let's get out of this rain for a second here. Let's go with the trivia, 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 trivia day. Yay. I got to come up with a cool, like, recorded uh, intro to that. I'm, I'm going to work on that. That's going to be kind of cool since it's been a regular thing now. Um, I actually may use one of these sheds from Mumbiles. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Uh, anyway, so I asked you guys yesterday what Fiat Gris tractor was the most popular tractor sold. And the answer is the Fiat Gris 180, 190 with a whopping, whopping, whopping 81,000 sold. So in the grand scheme of things, it was not a very popular tractor. There was only 81,000 of them. I mean 81,000, but uh, compared to the John Deere 8R, where there was 6.2 million of them sold, eh, 80,000 isn't that much. And remember, too, Fiat Gris Company went out of business in 1993, and they were bought out by originally by Jensen, who then eventually sold it to Jens. And Jens, we know now, in Farming Simulator, that they are noted for their wood chippers. Jens owns the Fiat Gris uh, company now, and they make, they still make Fiat tractors, but I don't think they make the Fiat Gris anymore. And on that note, let's do this trivia for today. Yay! Um, this is not from my little book. Remember, I have a book of a thousand trivia questions. Uh, I try to keep moving. Sorry about that, guys. But I try to keep moving so it's not just like staring at the wall. So I try to keep moving a little bit. Uh, today's trivia is brought to you by Fury Machine. <laughs> because this is something I just thought about uh, while we were. You guys all know the farm that I'm doing here. And I am doing everything with smaller equipment and smaller stuff and 28-day months and super realistic. And it's awesome, right? According to you guys, you guys are liking it, right? So... What percentage of the world's farms are small farms? And what I mean by small farms is they have less than five tractors. They have less than five pieces of equipment. And they make less than $340,000 a year. That's where the government uh, dictates in the United States of whether they're a small, medium, or large farm by how much money they make. What percentage of the world's farm, this is going to absolutely blow you away. What percentage of the world's farms are considered small? Ready and go. Do, 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 And your final answer. And go. Should I spend the time reading my meter? <laughs> Our electric company, I read my own meter. Um, so anyways, we're going to spend this rainy morning, well, raining pretty really close to afternoon. We're going to bring back some of those mods that I talked about. Yay! I had to get rid of a mod. I did, I did, I did, I did. One that I had downloaded that I was using for the telehandler. Well, when I went to go use it for this, this piece of equipment I'm going to buy, it didn't work. This is why Fury always, always tests off camera. Because I've gotten burned way, way too many times with it. So, let's head on down to the store. Uh, we're not going to get a lot done today um, other than bringing some equipment back. Getting it set up, getting it cooled out, and uh, ready to rock and roll. So that the next hour, when we hit 12 o'clock, we can do some rearranging. We can move our equipment where we need to be. Um, I'm going to go out with the road this time because that... I think if I keep driving over that big hump over there, it's going to hurt the, the 
suspension on these tractors because these are old. But I want to thank all, all, all of the new family members that have come aboard. Some of y'all have left, and I'm saddened by that, and I understand why. Um, as soon as I drop that truck sim video, everybody's like, nah, I'm out of here. Uh, when they see that I'm doing a running clock, a lot of people are leaving. But I told you guys, this is the channel that I wanted, and I'm going to keep it. This is it. Um, but we've also gained some people. So we lost and we gained and we lost and we gained. And that's not the end of the world. Um, Fury's got to stop watching like that so intently. I just got to focus on putting out uh, the content that we have planned for the day or the hour or whatever. Um, I have noticed recently that there are many, many, many people uh, streaming for a ton amount of time. Like Clutch simulator clutch yeah i don't know what his last part is simulations i think he streamed for 10 hours uh argz gaming he streamed for four um farmer z was having problems with his stream well i was so disappointed i was all set up and had my sandwich and had my dr pepper and had everything all set up and he was having problems with his bandwidth and couldn't get his stream to work but that's okay because he did not it was not done on purpose and i'm sure that He's got some good things planned because what a what a great dude. Uh, if you guys didn't notice that Grizzly Bear Sims dropped the video today. Uh, it is Wednesday at 1130 like I said. It is. It's a little late because I normally get started right around 11. But uh, tonight I had I was testing those mods and I was getting so frustrated um, because it wouldn't work no matter what I tried. I even went into the XML and I tried it and it just wouldn't work. And what it was is the War Z straw blower. Um, the one that I had hooked up for the telehandler, remember? And, and when I went to buy it for, ready, 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 ready. Look at this, ready? I, ready. <laughs> How many times can I say ready? Look at, I got my Bob's Cat Skid Steer, the T76. Let's get a good look around this thing here. Let's, uh, zoom in. We'll, we'll zoom in out there. Uh, the only thing that I didn't like about it, uh, our skid steer was also a Bobcat, uh, but we had the 083 version with the tires on it. Um, and this is the only Bobcat that I found so far that, that's been released for Farming Simulator 22. So I'll deal with the crawler tracks for now. And this one, um, unfortunately, watch. Uh, let's start the motor. I just started it. Now watch this. It goes super fast. So I'm going to have to turn the arm sensitivity down just a little bit so I could use it. But uh, let's get a good look at this. It's a really nice detailed mod. Uh, not going to lie. Let's take a look at it out here again. FS. Oh, it's, I got this. This is where I got it from. The FS Miner Constructions. This guy does mining uh, mods. That's where I got my Volvo from on no man's land the one that does the rocks and stuff that's where i got it from uh and it comes with a uh let's see whoops wrong button gotta get it in no that's the right button come on fury get your head going 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 tonight let's go in here i want to show you skid steer tools we'll go all the way over now it comes with all the way over a 76 ripper it's only 1.8 meter but like say you were doing a garden or this is the only piece of equipment you had. Um, you could you could do it. You could rip it. Uh, this comes with a shovel that holds 1,284. 1, so we're going to get that first. And then I got to buy. I don't know where it's at. I just downloaded this literally like five seconds ago. Uh, there it is. The Lucas Caster 20R Straw Blower. Okay. Now, this hits, hooks will hook directly on the back of our tractor. How cool. And we've got, it's a tiny little one, but it'll hook right up here. It's got uh, the hoses and everything. And then I just take my little baby straw bales and put them in here by hand. Ding, 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 ding. And drive my tractor up. How awesome is that? So let's start loading some of this stuff up here. Uh, what's to connect? Attach. Awesome. 
It's a little, um, a little wonky, but I'll get used to it. I'll turn the sensitivity down on it, and it'll be fine. It's actually a really, really good mod. Well done mod. I just can't wait till the 083 version comes out, and then I will, because I'm trying to get as close to what I had in real life. Oops. All right, and detach. All right. We've already got a bio, bio, bio spike. <laughs> Let's get in here and unfold this. And it'll be able to put our skid steer right up on it. This is the coolest little trailer. This is one of the first mods that I downloaded for real. For real, yo's. <laughs> And then we're going to go down. We're going to tilt this back up. We're going to go down. There we go. Shut that off. Go in here and refold this. Bring her down. Boom. We're going to hit the straps. And away we go. See how it locks it down? This is this is the like, the, like I said, you could go on the trailer. Okay. Put your skid steer on here. And you could probably put one, two, three, four stacks of bales, three high. So three, six, nine, twelve bales plus the skid steer, and it's not it's not super heavy at all. All right, so let's get back to the farm with this, and then we'll come back down with the workhorse and pick up the straw blower, and then hopefully we can move some bales around inside the sheds and not have to play around out in the rain. That's awesome. But I had a a uh, couple of comments today that I really wanted to, to shine out. Uh, you guys have been absolutely more than kind in all of your comments. I mean, I can't, oops, I can't say enough uh, of how well you guys are treating me. So that's that's just a uh, amazing. I, I can't say enough. Uh, one of the comments was, uh, I think, from Ranger. And he's becoming quite the little member. He's uh, the family member. He comments every video. He always leaves the most positive, most awesome comments in the world. Uh, he said, if I'm the only one right now on YouTube that's doing the 28 days challenge uh, extreme where everything's super realistic. And if I manage to accomplish it and we get through a whole year before... Farming Simulator 24 comes out. <laughs> uh, it will be amazing. It will be the most amazing endeavor ever achieved by by man. <laughs> I mean, man, man's built skyscrapers and and big giant ships and stuff. So me just playing farm sim and, and accomplishing that is absolutely not the same category. Uh, but it, it is quite the quite the thing to have you guys noticing and to have you guys coming back and coming back. And like I said in the beginning, we had a we had a few people leave. And um, I was a little frustrated at first. We had, like, as soon as I posted the trucks and video, like, two family members said, Pace, I'm out. And it was, I was like, why? Is it because of the, the truck sim? Or is it just because they're uh, tired of the content that I'm putting out? And I thought, no, I don't think, well, I can't answer for people. Sometimes I, as a content creator, uh, you guys will know, all of you guys that are content creators, sometimes you want to ask people, you want to say, what, what what am I doing wrong that you don't like, and things like that. Now, there's our bail spike. Now, the other thing that was cool, I sold, remember we still had three bales in the, um, whoops, let me push the right button here, I think, see how it unlocks it, it's kind of neat. I still had three bales or whatever it was in this machine. I sold it right from here, and all it did was drop the bales. See, now we can just pick these up and stack them on top of something. See? I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So let's this start her up. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm still happy, and I'm still going strong, and I'm still absolutely amazed that we have what we've accomplished. Um, I know that an update has come out for this map, and I'm excited, but 
kind of nervous at the same time. Now we are going to put this. We're going to be taking this over to the other farm because our animals are on the other farm. But I'm not, I'm not driving the skid steer way over there. So for now, I'm just going to put this like right here for now. And then we'll come back and get it when we're... ready for it because we're going to hook up to the bale spike first and I'm going to show you how these guys moved uh, also uh, who was it today um, oh triple D honey I almost forgot I, I forgot your I didn't forget your name I really didn't uh, he asked me if these cubes count as uh bales because on council you guys have bale limits hold shut this tractor down um yeah we'll do that we got it we're gonna have some equipment out in the rain here for a while i'm gonna move this bad girl over to the he asked me if they counted well see on pc it's kind of hard uh we don't have a bale limit on pc it's all on how much your computer can handle. So I've had thousands and thousands of bales before. All right. So we can zip around and we can get these all straightened out in here. Let's take these and, well, I got to turn my speed down. Put these over here. Now these weigh 60 pounds a piece in real life. Ah, uh, no, more like, eh, they say 60 pounds, but I think they weigh, me, they weigh more like 80 or 90. There we go. The, the bale physics have fixed quite a bit since 19. You can actually be pretty precise with these. Okay, so, what do we got to go? We got to turn these. Stab myself in the leg. We gotta get in here so we're out of the rain. Oh, the one thing they absolutely fixed. Look at this. It doesn't rain in the sheds. Remember in 17 and 19? You'd be sitting there putting your bales away and it'd still be raining through the thing. They fixed all of that. That is so awesome. So now you really feel like you're undercover. It's kind of. What am I hitting on here? Oh, this gets to yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's turn these. Now, I can pick these all up just like this. Um, I got to, you know what they got to do? Somebody, somebody way smarter than me has to come up with the collision mod. See how it's going in and out like that? It's the most annoying thing in the world. Get this bad boy up here. Bring her back here. See, every time I go in by that pole. All right, so we can stack these just like this for now. We don't have to be absolutely insane. I'm going to try to turn it just right. That pole is going to be the death of me. <laughs> Ooh. Slippery. You see how it's perfect? It's like perfect. So we'll do this one, and then we got to head back down to the store, and we got to get our other pieces of equipment before we run out of time. There we go. 
See how nice they are? They just stack really nice. All right, so let's um, shut this off. We, got, we can come back and play around with that. Look at that. Now, if I come here, look at I'll hit F1. If I come here and I say cut open bail, it'll open all 14 of these, and they'll all be loose. And I can come and grab one at a time. So when we do our animals, I can go zinc, put that in the straw blower. Zinc, when I put that in the straw blower. So let's take the Fiat down this time. Something different. Get this off the screen. Uh, whoops. I forgot. Did it? Oh, I was going to say, did it stop raining? It's not supposed to. That is for sure. This is a super duper duper mod. This is by far one of my favorites so far. She's got some pep, but she only goes 26, which is great. And the bigger tires I put on are great. But uh, yeah, getting back to my original, original story. I went off topic just a little bit there. Um, uh, when I, I was concerned at first about losing a few people, but then a few more people joined. So I, it all washed out in the end, but... Um, you guys, like I said, I've told you guys before, you guys are like my family members. And when family members leave, I'm super close to my family. And you guys will find out that the more that you're a member, the longer you are, the closer I get to you, the more loyal I become. Uh, I'm super loyal anyways, but that's just, uh, I want to start doing some things like, uh, uh, when I get to streaming and right now I want to get. That makes sure everything's perfect and then when we get to streaming i want to have giveaways i want to do all that stuff i will not will not will not be on camera though i won't do it not for now um that was one thing i promised to my wife um if i was going to stream and the reason why is because we've seen those horror stories like i said i'm old i've been around i've been around the block a few times and and a few times more and then a few times more on that so uh, Fury's been around a while, <laughs> um, and I've seen all the horror stories of people doing the, the the swatting thing and all that stuff. And I just won't I won't do it, um, which is the main reason I've been putting it off for as long as I have because um, we just I just want to I don't want to be that kind of guy, and I think sometimes these streamers open themselves up for it. Now, this is going to be awesome. Watch this. Q, and then D, and Z. Now, watch this thing. I'm pretty sure you can lower it like that, and I'm pretty sure. Let's see what the. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Unload. Can you not open the back? Oh, there's how you do it. You have to do it with a mouse. So let's do this and then go like this. There you go. I'll set that up for a button. So I can put my bail. Look at that. We can pick up a bail and put it right on there. And then... Or throw it in there, for that matter. You can walk up there and put it in there. Put... I, and with this being square, this is going to work out beautifully instead of the other ones. Like Now, the War Z one is the one we had in real life. We had that. It was the one that hooked to a skid steer, and it blew the straw, and that was the one I'm used to. We used to use it for uh, because uh, lime just isn't used for the field. We used to put lime in the stalls, too. When we changed their bedding, we would spray lime in there, uh, and it was to kill any kind of parasites or any kind of bugs, and you'd mix it with the straw. You'd put the straw down, and then you'd go... <laughs> It'd make this big dusty chalk. And that's why I laugh because I would say things like, you guys have heard me, it tastes like chalk. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry about the camera moving. I got to get a different button for that, which I will. But let's take a look at this thing. This is nice. Oh, and also... Oh, 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 Fury figured something out. Oh, no, the back window opens. Does my door open, too? 
Oh. <laughs> the, the sunroof opens. Bada bing, bada boom. And the window opens. Now, I wonder if... Oh. Oh, 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 wait. I see the... Oh. Are you kidding me? The back window's open too? Watch this. <laughs> now the door started opening, so what did I push the door? That goes that way. That goes that way. There it is. Look at look at look at look at look at. Oh, Fury's gotta get all these buttons done. And then we can spin around here like this. And now we can open and close the door. You want to talk about, and then watch this, open and close. And where's this? Open and close. Oh, oh, oh. Fury is in his glory. Oh, that closed. How did this? Okay, so up and down opens it this way. We're not even getting anything done. I'm just playing. Up and down to it this way. And then this way open and closes this door. So it does have a double door. <laughs> okay. I am absolutely. This is now one of my top five mods of all time. All oh, the doors open. The thing folds down. Oh, this, this tractor right here is super realistic. Now, the other thing is, did I change... I seem like I'm... Was I always sitting this far back? Oh, I tell you, I could... In this tractor, I can change my field of view. And so I'm not sitting in the back seat. I can sit... I can move it forward. It just feels like I'm sitting farther back than I was. I thought maybe I moved it. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Fury's super... I told you guys I had some toys. I had some toys today. This tractor we've had on the f on the farm for a couple of days now. Well, at least a, we're only day two, anyways. Uh, but at least a couple of hours, and I didn't even know those doors opened. We're gonna be realistic. Fury is super happy. You can tell by my voice when I find out and I discover some things. Makes me happy. And so now, but I'll get those set up on my. Uh, either my controller or a button so that I can just push a button and it'll open and close the door And so then we can just you know what else I want to see Where is my turn signals I know they're Look at that, look at They work Four ways work Uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I told you. I told you I got some toys for you. We're going to check on our cows here. Oh, you know what? We drove all the way back from the store. I was so excited we drove all the way back from the store with that thing <laughs> checking on the ground. <laughs> I told you we can we can make the episodes even if it's raining we can make them fun. We can definitely make them fun. I'll I'll look online too for a smaller feed wagon too. Um, because we are gonna put uh, our bales in. This is where Grizzly put them, and this is where I think I'm gonna put them because they're small, so we can. Stack them right in here. Do, 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 do. We can put them right in here, probably five or six high, and come in here with the little skid steer and zip them right out of here. Um, and so for now, what I'm going to do is put this straw. Look, at we got two of them for bales. One could be hay bales, and the other one could be straw bales. For now, I'll stick this in here because we're going to get we got to go down to the store. We got to get more stuff. We're not done yet. So let's lower this. Okay. 
Watch this now, everyone. See if I can remember how to do this. Whoops. Okay, that opens that. Got to get it. Aha. Up. Okay. So now we got a door that opens. And we can do this, this, and this. Now we can... Now we can come around the tractor and we can get in the tractor and then it goes up uh, to shut it. There we go. See? And after a while, I'll get used to doing it. And then I'll just start. See? We can get out. Now we're super realistic. Boom. And then this way, this side, left and left. So we can actually get in this from the left if you wanted. Because right? it's easier almost to do the left one. Yeah, now that it has two doors, let's do that. Then if we're back here and we want to go like this. Oh, man, this tractor is amazing. All right, down to the store we go again. Now, we're unfortunately, it's only 11 o'clock in the afternoon. we got to wait until tomorrow to finish bailing. So once we get our equipment back home that we're doing, we're going to start buying equipment, uh, trying to kill time, and then we'll find a... Um, oh, wait. I want to try something. That's the four ways. Look at that. i got to set that up at my buttons, too. I want to try something on my SIM dashboard. Nope, they're not touch button. They just, they bright my face. <laughs> I just have a little night light on my desk and, it, and it's going narrow, 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 and yellow. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I'm going to put a link in the description for this mod. This is amazing. Now, unfortunately, I did not get this from Simply Safe Mods. Uh, I got this from, I think, King's Mods. Um, and I, I try to get going forward. I'm trying to get all of my mods from Simply Safe Mods just because I know the guy that runs it. And, uh, you guys know the guy that runs that. It's Mr. Giz, the Bear Sims. And he is awesome. Like I said earlier, he dropped his video today. And boy, I watched it. He was, he was, uh, he, he mentioned me in the, in the video, which was great. Uh, absolutely fantastic. He gave me a shout out and he's like uh i'm gonna follow my my uh my buddy uh fury machine gaming and i'm gonna go about eight miles an hour so i left a comment and i said well <laughs> technically you would be going probably more like five or six you know what i noticed about this map uh let's do this let's do this since it's easier to get out that side Ah, oh, does it still pop me out that side? No matter what. Oh, that's gonna suck. I gotta do it the other door. Um, the pavement gets wet. I just noticed it. Uh, from look at from the time that we came down here to the time that we are getting this, all this is getting wet. Listen, I want to tell. Listen, listen to me when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing you don't find that kind of detail on other maps i just bit my i bit my tongue tough. i was so excited there oh man anyways i gotta stop i'm, I'm so amazed with stuff ah uh, all right so we're gonna go down to uh bailers all right let's get this opened up and this unfortunately it's green but can I change that? Yeah, let's make it green. Pre-2001, post-2001. Yeah, we're going to go pre 2001s This is known by farm terminology as a kicker baler. Okay. Bales come, the straw comes in here, or the hay, or the silage. And, or not silage, it'll only do hay, straw, and grass. We'll come through here, it'll wrap it, 
in here with twine. That's what that thing is there to push it out. And then it'll go thunk. Okay. Now, let's get into bail loaders. There she is, the Notch Bale Trailer. Ranger, you are amazing. You're the one that turned me on to this um, and wanted me to get it. I found this off of Farmer Klein's uh, review for it. And we're going to go. Uh, what's Crimson Red look like? Oh, it matches the Fiat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, all of these will hook up. So the bale comes out flying chink, and it goes in here. There's no rhyme or reason. They just stack in there. And then this, I do believe, opens. Should. Maybe. You, you, it's got to open, right? It'll probably unfold from the, from the trailer. Anyways, let's get this hooked up. Okay. I'm getting the hang of it now. All right, so this the first thing we got to get is this thing oh <laughs> forgot let's go back around this way all right look up Now we're going to go, we're going to leave the door open. Whoops. I didn't realize it had that long of a gooseneck on it. Wait. Yeah, I was going to say it hooks to the kicker part. That's what it does. Okay, so the straw, the hay, the grass comes in right here. Now, when this gets folded out, I'm pretty sure it should fold sideways. So it'll more like turn. It'll come over here a little bit more. I think. Not quoted on that. I haven't used this one yet. The bale comes out, shunk, and it'll go right into here. Shunk, 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 and it'll just, there's no rhyme or reason or anything. It'll just stack them all different ways. And I don't know how many it'll hold. We're going to find out together when we do it next time. And unfortunately for me, though, it's green. Um, now, I have to put a disclaimer out there. We owned several pieces of John Deere equipment when I was growing up. We had the 7, 70 30 we also had the 8350 uh, Cedar, which we may get, um, if I can find one for FS22. Uh, so we did. Uh, but I think my dislike for the green is because it's all I see around my house. That's it. Every day, there's John Deere, John Deere, John Deere. And I like to have the older, older equipment. If it was older John Deere, I probably wouldn't say anything. Okay, so then we come and we do this. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I might leave that on the mouse. That's pretty neat. All right, so now we've got to make a... Let's get out here. A wider... But I want to check something. All right, so there's two. Let's go back here. Turn on a baler. Unfold baler. Open... Unload bale trailer. There it is. See? That's how you get in there by hand. See that? And then what's Z do? There, the other side. So open open the unfold bale trailer is one side. And then this is it. So we can then... Sorry, I didn't open my door. I'll get used to it. Uh, then you come in here and you just grab the bales out. One at a time and you stack them. It's going to give us something to do in the winter time. We'll leave all of our bales right in the right in the bale trailer and we'll just buy other ones we'll buy like two or three because i don't think they're very expensive 16 grand that's not bad uh and remember we've still got a lot of but a lot of money because we um i sold everything to start with
Now, this uh, pivotal axle in the beginning is going to be a pain in the butt to uh, to back up. So we're not going to try that. We're going to get it. Uh, that's why where I decided to put the bales, where I showed you guys where we put the straw blower, we can just pull right up to it and unload them. So we'll, we got to find one of the sheds to put this in that we don't have to back up. Because they are a pine. Oh, man. I, this is probably one of my most favorite episodes so far. Uh, I don't get this excited very often. I get excited because we're finally doing a map that I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, like I said to you guys uh, about 20 minutes ago now, we've been going here. Uh, well, about 45 minutes, actually. Uh, there is an update to this map, and some of the things require a new save game, which is scary. I told Grizzly Bear Sims today, I don't. we've got 14 hours in this map already. I don't want to have to start over. If So my thing to you guys, all of you computer tech-savvy guys out there, if there's a way that I can download the update without having to start a new game, all of you guys rack your brain and let me know in the comments along with your trivia answers um, how that can work. Now we're going to go through here this time. Perfect. Perfect. We just plow over the edges. Because what I thought about doing also is oh, got to go up with the door there that way is right here possibly building a shed um, that we can pull our bale trailers into when it's winter time we can come over, come over here grab our bale trailer one at a time and bring them over and stack them into our bale shed so I don't know. Probably have to do that because. Oh, that door just clicks. You hear it? Click. Shift out of first here. Start going up the hill in third or fourth. It doesn't help. Take a okay, so it's up to open down. This one's left to right. Okay, perfect. Hmm. It's absolutely fantastic. Makes my day right there. This is our setup now. Now we can go up and down the rows, and it'll go shink right into here. How? Fantastic is that. I don't know how many it's going to fit, but I guarantee it's going to fit more than 14 bales in there. I bet you we fit probably 50 or 60 or 70 in there, which will cut our bailing time down in half. Our wonderful skid steer trailer. So let me get this shut off. Now, I'm wondering if... Whoops, I keep forgetting this. Down. Oh, okay. Now, I wonder something. Is there a way to shut this from out up here? No. So that's going to have to stay open. <laughs> well, all right. So that's going to be weird. So what I may do, let's do this. On our last... You have to have the engine on to do that? That's weird. We'll open and close it. And on our last use of the day, we'll jump out. Because you'd never leave a tractor door open. That doesn't make any sense. But now the question I have for this one. Since I got this off the same site. Nah, that's okay. That's okay. Perfectly fine with me. All right, so for the last 15 minutes, let's monkey around and keep going with our skid steer. 
and we can now what i'll do is when we get ready to go over with these bales these are just stackable bales we'll stack them up on this trailer and we'll hoss them across and then i'll probably just drive the skid steer over there now, i wonder if i can do this in here Meow, <laughs> little kitten. <laughs> Let's get that a little straighter. Get that square. Might be easier to do it from in here. I don't think we're going to go much more than three high, probably. Starts to push down quite a bit on this. Let's see how much higher we can go. Oh, I can get four high. Now, I do think I can grab... This like this. Get it out here square. This is why my dad was a firm believer in skid steers. Because they have such maneuverability. You can do, um, you can do so many cool things with them. Camera is going wonky because of the collision. Look at that. Like a glove. Well, that's because we're at the extension level that that's at. I don't want to go too high. There we go. There, getting used to the touch now. Perfect. Look at that. Now we got room to stack more if we wanted. We'll put the bale away. All my stuff's sitting out in the rain. Rain never hurt anybody, as my dad would say. All right. All right. So let's park this here. We gotta fix the sensitivity on that. Let's head down with our favorite tractor now. And I think we're gonna grab our cedar first. All right. We got 10 minutes. Because we're gonna direct drill these, uh, the oil seed radish right into this. So I'm going to try to get um, between a three or, or between a four and a six meter um, one that hooks to the back of the tractor. Uh, I don't want to go over six meters tops. I'd like to get one around four, but it's got to be a direct drill. 
because we did not cultivate, we did not plow yet. We're going to, uh, we also have to get a lime spreader and we have to get a, we're not, we're not using oilseed radish. Now here's the disadvantage. Our first row of crops next year will only be fertilized the one time. Okay. And the reason why is because we are a totally organic farm. So that's all we can use. We can't use, um, powdered or liquid fertilizer at all we just the oil seed radish until our cows give us enough manure now once we start getting enough manure up then we can start getting the second and third layer up um, but it's going to take a while since we only have five cows I mean we had like I said growing up we had a hundred and 125 100 125 150 and then it would fluctuate sometimes it would go as high as 200 we had to clean the, the, we had to muck out the stall twice a day. That's, I mean, they get dirty. But with only five, you probably only have to do it every couple of days. So, we're going to buy a cedar, and then we got to buy a cultivator, but we're not going to have time for that today. Got to go up, Fury, up. There we go. Up. And then get out. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you. Screenshot time. <laughs> Oh, that's great. You guys are awesome. Hope you guys like this video because I'm enjoying making it. All right, so let's get in here and let's go cedars, 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 cedars. Ah, uh, let's see. Where are we? Where? Wait a minute. Where are the cedars? Oh, see. <laughs> Teach me to peek, peek over at the score of the game. All right, so let's see what we got here. That's direct drill. Okay, none of these, none of these, none of these, none of these. Oh, I know that one is. I know that one is. I'm not going that big. Wait, what's? What is that there? Three meters. Is that a direct drill, though? I don't think it is. I don't know if any of these are, because in 19, they would tell you whether it was or not. I do know this one is the Rapid 800, because I think that's the one that what Grizzly was using. Oh, Right up at the top. Okay, guys, I have to pay attention. You just seen crop. Uh, wheel weights. Okay. Machines are seed crops. Okay. Additional tank. Machines. Let's see. Okay. Right here. Six meters. So these machines are used to seed crops like wheat. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Direct drill. So this is not direct. That's direct with six meters. All right, so I can't buy my cedar today because I don't. I want to try to find one right around the same size as our header. So right around probably four meters, maybe. I can go six meters, I guess. That's awful, awful big. Um, then again, our 8350 that we had growing up was 6.5 meters. So maybe that's what I'll look at. All right, so without that, let's go into cultivators first. Uh, you guys said we wouldn't have anything to do. <laughs> Subsoilers, spades, planters, disc arrows, cultivators. Now this one I should be able to get a four, four, five. We're going to go. This one takes, I have to keep in mind that I only have 157 horsepower too. So we're going to get this one. There we go. Yep, 12 meters. Okay, we'll take this back and we'll wrap this up. So I got to get a, that's my new project for tomorrow is get the brand new cedar. I'll probably get the John Deere 8350 because it doesn't usually require much uh, horsepower. Okay. 
Okay, and then raise it. Perfect. We shouldn't need a weight with this because we're under horsepower. Because I think I have a weight on the front. I think I have 14 meter or 1400 kilograms on the front of this anyways. So I'll find a Cedar. I think I'm going to try to find the John Deere 8350. If I can't, I'll try to find a 4 meter, 4 to 5 meter. 5 meters my max width that I'll go. Uh, because the header on the, the harvester is 4.7. So we can go between 4 and 5 and make it work right. The nice thing about this, though, is we'll be able to cultivate, instead of 3 miles an hour, We'll be able to go a legitimate six on this with this cultivator, this small one. When they're hooked to the three-point hitch, you can go six miles an hour legitimately. So to cultivate the oilseed radish in won't take that long. I mean, it will. It's still big fields, but instead of going three miles an hour, you're going six. So you'll be able to rock and roll right along. So that's it, and then we'll, I don't think we're going to have time to head down and grab our, too big, I went to the big, big home park. I don't think we're going to have time to go down to the shop. One more time, one more again. My dad used to say that. <laughs> Do it one more again. Oh, hey, I was watching the show today, uh, Country Terms telling you I got them all right <laughs> now look at see the doorway that's how I know that's the size equipment you're supposed to have for this map because it fits right through the door perfect now, let me take a look at this real quick yeah that's decent size I mean you figure okay this is four four meters exactly a little over 12 feet wide exactly right down half a lane you can when you're making your lines you can go right with your tires you'll have a little bit of overlap see just about six eight inches overlap so you put your tires right on the inside of the line and you know that you're hitting a cultivator you don't even have to use the gps and i do have a 1400 meter weight on the front of this oh look at what's the 2000 air that's kind of neat. Not even going to lie. It's kind of cool. All right. Here we go, everyone. Look at that. We've got our first cultivator, the Amazon. Whew. What a fun, fun, fun episode. As we sit here and watch the pouring rain, we close the door. All right, everyone, we made it through episode 14 already. Believe that? We've been on this map for 14 hours. 14! Isn't that fantastic or what? Um, and on that note, please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, share, share the video. And hit the little notification, ding, ding, bell. Shh, I drop a video every single day. Uh, keeps very busy, just so you know. Uh, please, please, please enjoy the night, day, the weekend, whenever you're watching this. And tell all your friends. Make sure you head over to see Grizzly Bear Sims. Make sure you head over to see Farmer Z and Clutch and Virtual Farmer and Simulation for the Nation. And anybody who else I missed, you all know that I love you all. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.